Hi, and welcome to the show. Give me my phone. This is family friendly. Hi, and welcome to Three Minute John. Really? <laughs> oh. One hundred episodes. <laughs> Who would have believed that I can make 100 episodes? Not me. Shut the f up. The subscriber number is still low, but I think that's because I don't have a certain symbol in my videos. A symbol that every successful YouTuber has in their videos. The play button. So starting right now. Bring on the subscribers. Let it be, let it be. Okay. Now let's see what happens. It's gonna be. It, ah, oh, only one last thing to do. And now the news. The Samsung Galaxy S10. What? Che? Okay. Mm Qua? Yep, we didn't even get to know the S9 very good, and the rumors around the S10 are starting to appear. Appear? I would like a pair. Actually, I would like a pair of pairs. A pair of pairs on a pair. I, I don't know why I said that. A patent for Samsung was approved last month for a phone that has a screen to body ratio of 99%. March, my date. It's a. Uh pretty hard to believe. I mean, we've seen that the fingerprint sensor can go under the display, but what about the front-facing camera? What about the sensor? What about the front speaker? And what's with the single camera setup? How come the display is not curved on the edges? And where the f*** is the headphone jack? I don't think that this pattern will come to life anytime soon as it is, but if it does, I will be amazed and angry at the same time. Where the f*** is the headphone jack? And speaking about future phones, ZTE has designed a new concept phone called Iceberg that has Two notches! My dome mercy. ZT, what the f is ZTE? I know that the iPhone X has one notch, and usually we say that more is better, but this is not the case. This is worse. Much worse. It has a rear fingerprint sensor, dual front facing speakers, dual rear camera, a smart connector like Moto Z, and glass edges. Why would you make glass edges? I mean, that's the surface where you drop your phone the most it, on the edge. Uh, you make the glass so it... Why, why would you put glass on the... Uh, the phone could be available next year or not. It could just remain a concept. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. God, I hope they don't make it. Introducing the new ZTE Iceberg 2 that has not one, not two, but four notches for all you notch lovers out there. It's top notch! And bottom notch. And side notches. Notch! The Sony XZ2 Premium. We've talked about bezel-less phones, notchy phones, but manufacturers are still making phones with bezels as big as they were on the original iPhone. Sony unveiled the XZ2 Premium and it's not the prettiest phone to look at, in my personal opinion, because it has a huge chin. You know, the kind of chin that will make you grow a beard just to hide it? it it's not my case. I, I have a beard because I'm a lumberjack. I, I cut trees and um... Bullshit! <coughs> Shut the f But despite the looks, the specs are no joke. It has a 5.8 inch 4K display, a Snapdragon 845 processor, a 3540 milliamp battery, fast wireless charging, IP68 water resistance, 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, with micro SD expandable storage up to 400 gigabytes, and a dual rear camera setup. Now the cameras have a 19 megapixel color sensor and a 12 megapixel monochrome sensor. They have an ultra sensitivity of 51,200 ISO for low light pictures and the world's highest ISO sensitivity for video recording on a smartphone of 12,800, meaning you can make videos in very low light. And it can record 960 frames per second at 1080p Full HD. What the f 
As a comparison, the S9 could shoot at the same frame rate but only at 720p and only for 0.6 seconds. So yeah, it's something worth mentioning. We don't know the price yet or the exact release date, the only thing Sony revealed is that it will be available this summer, so that you can film a slow-mo of your flabby belly running on the beach. What do cyber criminals do with the ransom money? Did you know that an entry-level hacker earns around $42,000 a year, a mid-level one $900,000, and a pro hacker makes around $2 million a year? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Hmm, I should learn to code. A recent study shows how cyber criminals spend their money. 30% of them invest in property or things that hold value, like art. 20% spend it on buying more IT equipment that makes their job easier. Another 20% spend it on drugs and escorts. You know, ladies with low self-esteem. Women that get paid for... <coughs> those women that stay on the side of the road and... Bitches. They spend it on bitch. Drugs and bitch. 15% use it on finer things like expensive jewelry and watches, and the rest of 15% use it on immediate needs like groceries or paying the internet bill to watch 3 Minute John. But the thing is that most of that money comes from normal people like you and me that have very light security or even worse, no security at all. So if you don't want to make it easy for hackers to access your data and then make you pay, you should get some of that good protection. You know what I'm talking about, you've seen the logo at the end of each of my episodes. CyberGhost VPN, the company that helps me make this show. I would like to tell you some of the best aspects of having a VPN. You can access all online content no matter the country you're in. You know, like porn. You can access social networks that are banned in your country, so you can share that good porn. You can communicate with friends abroad and tell them the great porn you found. Hide your browsing history from the ISPs and the f government. You don't really want the government to know what porn you're watching, do you? Secure your internet connection, especially when connected to public Wi-Fi. You know, so you could publicly watch cats. And to minimize the risk of getting infected with malware through malicious content displayed online, which CyberGhost filters and blocks. Plus, you can use it to download torrents anonymously. <clears throat> but so, yeah, if you care about your security and privacy and you don't want to make the hackers rich, you kind of need it. Now, we'll link the survey in the description and we'd love if you guys could answer because it's about the show and we want to hear your opinion. Everyone who does the survey will get one free month of CyberGhost Premium and 10 lucky ones who do the survey and share this episode will get one year of CyberGhost Premium security. You see, I give good stuff. Actually, CyberGhost is giving you stuff, but, but, but still, I... Uh, so, 100 episodes, boy! I would like to thank again CyberGhost for making this show possible. I would like to thank the 3 Minute John team. Chuck, wave, 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 not with the pen, wave with your hands, you stupid idiot. Okay, Wana and our newest member, Andra, and I would truly like to thank you guys. Thank you for liking, disliking, commenting, and sharing my videos. You guys are great. We are not many, but we are few. Wait, we're strong. Yeah, we're not many, but we're strong. Love you. The next three weekends, I'll be in Europe with the Romanian stand-up comedy show in the following cities. If you live there and you want to meet up for five minutes before or after the show, leave a comment or give me an email because I would love to meet and make an intro with you guys for this show. Give me my phone! And maybe you could buy me a beer. Who knows? <laughs> So this was the 100th show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember, subscribe, leave a comment, give a like. I'm John, until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. You better give me a beer. Hmm. I should make a song about Cyber Ghost. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want strong protection, gotta pay attention. Start taking action, get Cyber Ghost VPN. Action. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, doesn't, it doesn't rhyme. Wait, I, I got a better one, come on. Ah, yeah. If you're a regular person or businessman, write down my words, here, take my pet. You need protection, you need the VPN, there's only one choice, CyberGhost. Amen.